my name is Eileen McKusick and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration today of a sound healing modality that I've developed and call sound therapy body tuning. In body tuning we use tuning forks and the acoustic audible sound frequencies produced by them to give the body tune-ups. I first began using tuning forks in 1996 when I began incorporating them into my massage therapy practice. And after a little while of doing that and receiving feedback from my clients that they had less pain, less anxiety, clearer mind, more settled emotions, I decided to focus more on using the sound instead of massage and I've been doing it ever since. And through the years that I've been practicing this, I have continued to evolve the modality and I've made quite a number of interesting discoveries and I'm going to share with you today a little bit about how the process works and what kinds of conditions that it's good for. So we use tuning forks. I have a couple of different sets. I use a set called the Solar Harmonic Spectrum, which is the C major scale, that octave, and also a set called a Solfeggio set, which I have right here. Uh, this is a hockey puck, which makes a great tuning fork activator. And uh, this is Amy, my model, who will be receiving some sound waves today. So in the body tuning process, we go through the entire body and the body's energy field. So I would begin up to six feet off the body and work my way through listening and feeling for the feedback that the tuning forks are providing. And working through, it's sort of like almost a combing process where we comb through the field and de-differentiate any pockets of energy that might be there and reintegrate them into the central system, into the E chakra. Once I get into the center, then I move through the column of energy provided by the chakra. Ideally, a chakra should be about the diameter of this hockey puck. And so when the energy is focused, it moves through a column. You can actually hear that very clearly when you're over that particular area. If the energy is all centered and balanced, the sound in the column of energy will sound very clear and it will be very distinct. So you'll be able to come into that particular area and hear that, that loudness and that clarity. And then I, I move through this area, again, just listening for any places where there's static uh, where, where there's gaps and stay there until the body self-corrects. And we do that with each chakra. So combing through, centering, integrating. There will actually be a few moments when you pull all the energy into the center and what goes on is almost like a blending process where we're taking this energy that was differentiated and reintegrating it into the system so sometimes the tone of the fork will go very quiet or very uh, fuzzy as that process occurs. It makes me think of mixing paint when you've got two colors and you mix them and you have to blend them for a while before the, the third color emerges. It's sort of like that. And we listen for that true tone to come through. And again, listening to make sure that the full spectrum of sound is present. I've learned that if I'm working and I, and I don't hear the full spectrum, there's often a spot somewhere out here that I've missed. And so I'll go back and comb through again, just listening, uh, finding these areas when I've got a loud spot right here, and that will follow the tuning fork. I'm actually able to move that loud area and bring it into the center. And now it's right there. So I'm just staying with that. Um, I find that if people have a very low energy, their root chakra will be running very quiet. And so, you know, just by staying there and sort of encouraging it to come up, um, you can actually raise the volume in a particular region. Um, people will often report feeling very energized after that. So then, uh, In, in each region, I, I, again, I'm looking, there's a particular tone of a, of a balanced chakra that I look for. And, um, and, and it's also a feel. And again, it's sort of like, it's like the full spectrum of sound. When you hear a tuning fork, you hear the fundamental tone, in this case this fork is 285 hertz, and then you hear overtones. 
And the overtones are multiples of the fundamental. And so ideally, uh, you hear all of those tones ringing out fully, uh, sort of an equal decay rate. I find sometimes if there's imbalances, you'll hear certain overtones will be accented, will be strong. Sometimes you hear very strange sounds in the overtones. For example, if someone is feeling a lot of fear, um, there'll be almost like a pulsing kind of sound that happens in the overtones. And so again, just staying with that until the body just sort of, you know, it tunes itself to the tuning fork. It's almost like the body is given an opportunity for reflection. And that homeostatic ability to bring things into order kicks in and, and it will resolve itself. So if there's a lot of fear going on, we continue to introduce the tuning fork. After a while, that part of the overtone corrects and it, and it does what I call a flat line, where it's not pulsing anymore, but it's become more orderly. So that's really what the sound does, is it, it appears to support order in the body. When, when everything is centered and in alignment, and we're in order, we have a conservation of energy going on. And the, the pure tones of the tuning fork seem to give the body the opportunity to give rise to that inner order, which is our natural state of being. One of the things that I discovered doing this work, much to my surprise, is that underneath all of our static and our noise and our issues and our traumatic childhood and all of that, there is a fundamental harmony that is present in everyone. And the sound brings that up. So we dissipate the noise, we dissipate the, the static, and, and we amplify that fundamental harmony that's in everybody, that's underneath. I thought we were all guilty sinners and fundamentally flawed, and when I discovered that everyone has this, this inner harmony, it kind of came as a surprise to me. I do believe that we're meant to live in harmony in our universe, and, uh, you know, as humans and especially as Western culture, we've gone very out of tune and very out of balance. And this is a technique to just help people to remember their own innate harmony.